Hey guys, welcome back. This will just be a quick video. And what we're doing here is we're gonna change the layout for both opportunities and leads. And so I'll open up leads in a new tab and we already have our opportunity layout open. And what I'm doing here is just, let me show you. Every time we come to an opportunity or a lead page for the very first time, you'll see that this activity tab here is showing up first. Um, that might be useful for sales reps, but we are uh, administrators. And so I'd, I would prefer to see the details tab first. And that way we don't have to you know click to see the details every single time. And so that's the change we're gonna make on both the opportunity record and the lead record. In order to do that, I need to be on an opportunity and I am. And so I'll just click open the gear icon and I'm gonna press edit page. And this takes us into the lightning record page for the opportunity. And we're gonna click on this main tab component here in the center. And I'll just get rid of these notifications. And you can see that our default tab setting here has activity selected as the default tab. I'm gonna change that to just be the first tab in the tab series. And then I'm gonna switch the details tab and the activity tab so that the details tab is first and the activity tab is second. I'll press save. And because this is the first time we've worked with this page layout, um, we'll need to activate it and make it visible to your users. So I'll press activate. And because we're the only people that are working in this, in this environment, I'm going to assign it as the org default. I'll press next and save. And so what this has done is now that anytime we go to an opportunity, this will be the layout that we see. And I think it saves when you activate it, but I'm just going to press save again. You see changes saved and then I'm going to press back. And now we're going to go re repeat this process, but just do it on the lead object so that anytime we navigate to an opportunity or to a lead, uh, we see the details first and we don't have to spend the extra time clicking. So I previously opened up a lead tab. Um, if you haven't done that, feel free to just click on the lead tab and then open up any lead in the system. And just as we did before, I'm going to click the little gear icon and I'm going to press edit page. And then we'll click the center sort of tab section and I'll change the default tab from activity to first tab. And then I'll switch the details and activity tabs in sequence so that the details tab is first and the activity tab is second. Then I'll press save. I think it's going to have us activate this page as well, which we will by pressing activate. And once again, we will assign this page as the org default. Press next, save. And we see that the activation settings were changed and I'll just save again, which you probably don't need to do. And then I'll press back. And so that's it for uh, this short, you know, just UI changes. Um, these weren't related to the challenge at all. I just wanted to make those uh, changes so we could save clicks down the road. In the next video, we're going to do a quick summary of the challenge that we just built out and the flow that we just built out, kind of, you know, going through the sequence as though, or going through the story again, as though you are the admin at Universal Containers and you just delivered the solution. So with that said, I'll see you in the next video.